Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we've got another deck on the line for you guys, and what we're looking at here is Bant Ramp. Uh, it's probably impossible for you not to know about this deck if you've played in the last couple of weeks, at least since M21 came out, because since the return of things like Ugin the Spirit Dragon, uh, it's been a very, very common archetype, and things that uh, it's good at is beating Reclamation decks. And before this, Reclamation decks had really taken over as the top archetype uh, in the current standard meta. Uh, so we decided that we are going to take this first spin through a standard event. We just went best of one, which of course, control decks, best of one, not the best place. But we ended up with a very good record. We went five and three, and this was our first time playing this new iteration of Bant Ramp. Um, some outstanding standouts of this deck, yeah, because we're coming from the future here, we've already done it. Um, of course, Ugin the Spirit Dragon, if it hits the board, it's tough for the opponent to recover from. It wipes the board, it deals damage if there's not that much on the other opponent's side of the board. It's it's just all around what a great card. And if he goes off with his ultimate, man, that's just so much value that it's really hard for your opponent to recover. <clears throat> other standouts include, of course, the Ramp Package, which is Growth Spiral, Uro, and Nissa. All of which help you to potentially get out Ugin turn 4, turn 5. Um, though those are probably a bit more rare. And there are other ramp packages in this archetype, like a Boreal Grazer into Cultivate, that allow you to get that Nissa out on turn 3, which then allows the turn 4 Ugin more consistently. But personally, then half your deck is pretty much not very aggressive, right? Growth Spiral draws you a card, and it does ramp you. Oro draws you a card, gains you life, gives you a 6-6 beat stick that can hopefully come back from the graveyard to be permanent, while also giving you a little bit of ramp. Um, but this deck isn't <clears throat> as full. It's, those decks are like, all eggs are in the Ugin basket, if you know what I mean. Whereas this deck kind of plays around that and hopes to get a lot of mana to play some big creatures, draw a lot of cards to make lots of kitties, that kind of thing, right? The whole idea is we're going to control the board, kill your stuff, and eventually, with plenty of mana left over, we're going to have Super Friends Assemble and come across the table for you. Uh, other standouts, of course, Scavenging Ooze. If you guys haven't watched it already, I've got a mono green aggro deck video that uh, really showcases how powerful Scavenging Ooze is in this current meta. I just really love this card. It is efficient, it'll never be banned, but it will. I think it'll find play in any deck that runs this color. Uh, Joriel here, pretty efficient. Like, you combo her with Teferi, Master of Time, and you're making a little 2-2 cat every turn. Uh, one thing to note, a lot of people read this as your creatures get plus X plus X, where X is the number of cards in your hands, but you really need to pay attention because it's until end of turn, creatures you control have base power and toughness XX, where X is the number of cards in your hand, which can still be quite strong. If you have a full hand of cards, you now have a bunch of 7-7s, seven but if you're not paying attention and you thought it was plus X plus X, like maybe I did maybe once upon a time, though you won't see it in this video, um, you might make mistakes. So think about that and keep it in mind. Otherwise, it's all the fairly typical stuff. You've got Nyssa, you've got Hydroid Crisis, Elspeth Conquers Death, Shark Typhoon, all in there to kind of help you get to your win cons. Your win cons being Nyssa, Shark Typhoon, Uro, Hydroid Crisis, Crisis. All of those are what we're trying to seal the deal with. <clears throat> You'll definitely take a beat down from aggro in the first two or three turns before you're managing to get your bigger creatures out. Uh, but you should have enough life gain between the Hydroids and Uro to hopefully make up for it. Uh, without further ado, let's go to the gameplay footage and you guys can decide for yourselves. No! But that card alone allowed him to stabilize either three blockers or gain life gain. It's just really good. So, straight up, I know I'm going second, but this hand has a growth spiral and that makes me want to keep it, right? So we'll keep seven. Scavenging Ooze is just bonus. Uh-oh. We do have a Shatter, though. So, this may still work out for us. Probably should have gone with the, the Hollowed Fountain here, but we're going to play it with a Gross Spiral anyway. 
This deck also hates scavenging ooze. Ooh. Which I might get on the field sooner rather than later, actually. Hmm. You know, I've got the Shatter of the Sky mana out. So let's just go ahead and pass. May have to shock in the Hollowed Fountain. But hopefully this isn't Anax, you know? Ah, oh, it's not Anax, thank goodness. Yep. Hitting us for four? Yeah. He could also have Ember Cleave. He does not have Ember Cleave. Okay. There's Anax. Mm. We do want more lands. Now the question is, do we bounce Anax with Teferi, or do we let him get six one ones that we can't really do much about? This is a tough call, honestly. I think the right answer is to bounce him, though. Let's slow this down. Here we go. Let him attack Teferi, maybe. See what we can do. Because then maybe we can Elspeth Conquer's death at next turn. If we live that long. Ooh, he might have found something better. No Tor Brand Daddy. He didn't find anything better. Ah, oh, thank god. Absorb me, Daddy. You did your job well, Teferi. I'd pet you, but you know. You know how it'd be. This is hardly my worst. Opinion. Okay. So we island, Elspeth conquers death to Anax, and hope we live to the next turn where we shatter the sky. And maybe even Growth Spiral. Hopefully he doesn't have another Anax. Yeah, down to six. Oh, nope, never mind. Down to a little bit more than six. That's not lethal, I don't think. No, it's not lethal. We're down to two, or three. Yikes. Don't you know I didn't like that very much, Mr. Mr. Man? This is a good draw. Let's see, can we play Nyssa and Shatter? No. Mm, I like you. But do I like you that much? Yeah, I think so. We can start stabilizing with Scavenging Ooze, hopefully. And then we get Teferi back next turn. So if he doesn't have a Hasty Boy... He doesn't have a Hasty Boy. Okay, that's pretty good. He doesn't attach Embercleave to him, though. Yeah, that's weird. Why wouldn't you do that, buddy? Okay. Uh, loyalty. I'm known for my excellent timing. So let's see here. I think we want to do this. This might be a bad idea. Ooh, that's really good. Um, but I think we want to do this first. We will not fail. And we want to do this. Behold, nature's true we'll power. hit. Yep. And he doesn't have any direct damage in hand right now. But I do want to go ahead and make this a bigger boy. And gain some life. And the next turn we've got a big Hydroid. That will hopefully... Oh, thank God. Help us stabilize. Alright, so we can put this into play tapped. We can add all of our mana. And we can use this. Oh wait. To animate our Temple Garden. Harness the elements. And then we'll do times two. Times that. You can get a big boy for eight. So four cards. Four life. Plus him up. Here goes nothing. Mm. 
Went straight to combat, didn't equip his Ember Cleave. Probably because he's already got one. But, um... That's fine, whatever he attaches it to is gonna die. Because it will go through. Whew! ka -ching. We beat Mono Red! On the play! We did it, boys. Not gonna lie, my butthole is like that small. Ooh, Karn v Karn rematch. It's not the real. It's not the other Karn. I don't mind this on the play for two reasons. We got Joriel and Teferi start pumping out kitties. That's not too shabby. We can make sure that we hit a land drop. Doesn't have any ramp, but, you know, maybe we won't go up against aggro for once. This is gonna be bad. Okay. We want that. Oh, no! No, baby, no! Either he's got the shock or the bone crusher, or he don't. He do. He do have it. <sighs> Seems pretty good. <laughs> Ooh, but he played his land first. Rookie mistake. Um, so looking at this, we're not going to do anything this turn, so we might as well just toss it in tapped. And we will go ahead and end the turn. Yep, he gets something out of this. Ooh, he gets an Ur -Ur. That'd be really nice right about now, I'm not gonna lie. Ouchies. Okay. So... I think we do... None of these are really gonna get stopped by that anyway. So let's do this. It takes impressive knowledge to be a temporal large man. That's pretty good. Uh, but what do we discard here? I think I want to keep... Now that I've drawn Nyssa, I think I want to keep my Jellyfish Hydra Beast. So let's... I think mostly Elspeth Conquer's death is not going to do a lot for us. Scavenging Ooze very well could. But it gets rid of Anax, so let's get rid of Ooze. Let's see who attacks who. He's got Embercleave mana, but he doesn't have Embercleave. Let's see. He could get two cards off the top of my deck. Let's see who he attacks. You know, I think I'm fine with this. I kind of want to take out one of his dudes so I can kind of protect Nissa a little bit better. That was just a land. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and phase out this one. And that way, Nissa stands a bit better of a chance of living a little bit longer. Still gonna happen, man. You just wasted a Bone Crusher Giant for no reason. Alright, so this needs to be a Plains. Because Elspeth is gonna come for that handy dandy Bone Crusher Giant. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Uh, let's do the island. Be wary of the ground you walk on. And then pray for life. Like, we just want Nyssa to live. That's the overall goal here. She's gonna take four. Man, he's taking all my good shit. Look at him. 
He's probably gonna block slash Embercleave now. That's what I'm thinking. But either way, this robber of the rich dies. Embercleave, 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 here it comes. Yep. Not too much we can do there. Yep. I can help you so the good news is we can still Elspeth Conqueror's death his Embercleave. Yep. Take five. Or he might hit us for a little bit more, actually. Yep, yep, yep. So we're gonna take six. I would use Castle Embercleave if I was him. Yep, here it comes. Good game. Always feels bad to lose to Mono Red, especially when they make mistakes like using Bone Crusher Giant on Teferi for no reason. That seems bad. What do you think about the current uh, meta there, Sergeant? We do have Ramp. I think we play the Fable Passage first, just in case. Grabbing a blue. Yeah, Teferi, I am surprised, missed the ban. Given how prevalent and how strong he is. Interesting. So we're going to grab a blue here, so let's grab a blue. It's the only other blue we got. Let's shock this in. Play Uro next turn. Hopefully top deck will land in the meantime. Ooh! Which Garrick? Did you pull the four mana or the six mana? And you pulled Liliana, or you also hate Liliana? Ooh, that's a good top deck. Ooh, them's good top deckins. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, more ramp. Damn! In a draft, someone you opened one and someone passed you the other? That's gross. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little jealous. Just a little. I might draft later tonight, too. I've got all the tokens left. Ugh. My ooze! No! How dare you, Bo's nose. How dare you. And of course, I don't have the mana to cast my Nissa right now. So, what we'll do is we'll play to Furry. We'll plus him up. That seems like it's going to be pretty good. Uh, I think... Hmm, what do we want to get rid of? I think we'll get rid of the Gross Spiral at this point. And we'll put that into play tapped. Wait a minute. Is that part? Is that permanent? It's creature. He's going to use it on this guy. What a nerd. Whew! We got a better one. Discard a card. Uh, Shark Typhoon. So one bad thing about looting. You miss out on all the fun stuff. That's a that's a cool line though. I'll just come back yesterday. So are you green black or what, my dude? <laughs> if you pick all the best cards all the time, you'll never have a problem. You know? Let's look at the battlefield here. I never mind more than one Teferi Time Raveler. So let's keep. We will. What do you think? Let's 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 draw a card. I am not threatened with a couple of one power creatures on the board. 
Trust Let's draw some more cards. Thank me later. Yep. Because he's gonna kill Trust Teferi me. now. I have a plan. But Teferi did his gerb. Yeah, double black is gonna gonna be kind of tough, but I mean, there's so much good mana. Good lord, that's three banishing Only lights. Matter of time. Healer's hot, huh? Chose to bring that guy back. Ooh, interesting. So if I'm going to shatter the sky, I want to wait until. Um, until he plays his other creatures. And I think it would be kind of fun to swing for two here. This isn't or <laughs> I could bounce this and then bounce something else, but then he could play it again, and who'd want that? Um, fuck it, you know what? Let's do that. We get to draw cards, right? So which one do we get to keep? This one? And then we can put that guy back in your hand, draw some more cards. Ooh. Then we can do... Mm. But we want to... Do we want to save that? Do we want to do that right now? Because he's already got that. Let's wait until he uses it on my Teferi. So we'll pass for right now. Because chances are, if he's a if he's a bet man, he's gonna banishing light. Interesting. Okay. Mera shield. Gotta read that. Has hexproof. Whenever a creature with death touch blocks or becomes blocked by this creature, destroy it. Sure. Maybe he's running into that death touch tribal a couple of times. Ah, he's smart. Let's do this. Yeah. Nah. We'll do it at the end of turn. This is hardly my worst defeat. We can draw an ECD that also brings this back. But he's probably holding on to this for Uro. Sure. Because next turn we can Nissa and Uro. Ooh, or we can that. That seems really good. Hmm. Doesn't get rid of Ginger Brute, though. But it does get back all of our threats. So let's minus him for three. The axiomatic structure of reality is surprisingly flexible. If I don't have a plan, Return I'll just make one the up. Of the He's got hexproof. He can make him unblockable. It's pretty good. Now who do you take out? Ugin or Teferi? Because Teferi is going to make me a bunch of kitty cats with Droyal. Smart. Smart, smart, smart. Smarty makes smart, smart, smart. I leave you to your doom. Okay. Feels pretty good. Oh no. Not the one. Don't do it. Um. Yeah, we'll discard him. So here, we can phase out our own dude, Shadow of the Sky. So let's do that. Oh no, cancel. It's not my it's not me. It's everybody else. So let's do Let's see, I can do this, untap it, cast Toriel, and then make a kitty. 
Oh yeah, I gotta actually use this, right? Let's get a forest. Because we're freaking professional. Yeah, it would hurt my heart too, buddy. Victory by scoop. Nissa is too much. You can protect her until she gets her emblem. Discarding a card is good, but when it happens to you too and limited, mm, it's not wonderful. Um, I think this is a hard mulligan, boys. It is something. Yeah, we'll go ahead and keep, and I think here we get rid of Crassus so that we can cycle Shark Typhoon. Although, Elspeth conquers death. Eh. Opponent's not telling us nothing. What are you up to, Crado? Let's do this. Mono red. We chose correctly. Ugh, feels bad. Good news is we have a scavenging ooze. What do we want to get with this? Ooh, not mono red. Poppy? Boros aggro? Sure. Take one. I hate that you have to do it for an extra bunch of times just because he has first strike. Alright, here, I believe, we want to get a planes. And we'll shock in a breeding pool. And we'll toss in a scavenging use. It's getting better. It's not great. Shock? Is it worth it? Some interesting non-meta deck going on right now. I'm playing things like Faithful End. Okay, 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 calm down. Let's try and find some answers here. That's not gonna be an answer anymore. We're gonna try and jump a 2-2 in front of the Sky Knight Vanguard and hope he overplays. Ugh, gross. I need more control. Mm. Just let me burn. Hey, these little guys are great. Man. Very interesting. All right, that's not too shabby. But I should have played my Hallowed Fountain. Uh, I'm not sure if we live because of that mistake. We'll see. Oh, they're so cute. Probably got the burn to finish me off here. Yeah. Man, super aggressive. Let's see, we could have taken two and killed all those guys. Ugh. Too bad. Going up against black, perhaps? Opponent goes first. The first play that we have is a Teferi. This pretty much scoops to aggro. We've been seeing a lot of aggro tonight. Okay, we'll go ahead and keep it. Because we think we got black. Oh, we got kitty. Okay. <clears throat> the good thing about that is that we have scavenging ooze. Interesting. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<coughs> Excuse me. We want blue. A little shotgun. Joriel. Cool, cool, cool. Good night, huh? Non token, though. Alright, so let's play this. And let's do this. I know my responsibility. And let's draw a card and return that to his hand. He can sacrifice it and draw a card. That seems like a waste, but okay. Um no attacks. But why didn't we... Why didn't we get a cat? Whenever you draw your second card each turn, create a 2-2 cat creature token. Um, no blocks. It's That's very weird. To plan. Very, very weird. Oh, we didn't draw the cards, what happened? I wasn't paying attention. Grab the island. Play to fairy. All right. Who's now ready for we definitely got it. Now as far as alright, let's get a little of this crassus here. Cool, 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 cool. No attacks. And we'll phase out this bad boy if he wants to attack with the 3-3. Three, three. He doesn't. Interesting. <clears throat> Whenever a creature dies or a creature is put into a graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield, Creature leaves your graveyard. Sir deals one damage to each opponent. Each player... Hmm. Muzzles a card. Interesting. Alright. Got Elspeth Conquer's death for that. As long as we draw land, which we will come by honest, hopefully, with Teferi here. Yes. Um, let's take out. Hmm. Crass is here. So let's shock this in. Pay two land. Take out Conrad. You can sacrifice him. That's fine. Not do not going so well. Somebody pull a real good bomb. This 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 particular draft is just full of bombs, man. <clears throat> yeah, I feel you there, bud. Mm. I feel like I want that, so let's get rid of fairy here. No attacks. We're slowly building up. Sorry about that, bud. 
Sometimes that happens. Fucking magic, am I right? Sure. Also sure. Very interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see what we got. Maybe we can get a Nugan. No, we'll just get rid of that. Alright. So. I think here we temple. Mm. Yeah, we'll keep that on top. And we will... Actually, we probably shouldn't have. We'll... Ditch it. <clears throat> So this does give him an ability to sacrifice stuff to Fiend Artisan. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see, what do we want to do here? I think, we block here, we block here, we block here. And we do that. It's probably gonna Witch's Oven his little 1-1 one -one maybe? So let's get a Teferi back. For loyalty. And he's already tapped his doodad, so let's get rid of that guy. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Let's put this into play tapped. And here we can still block everything. If I was going to shatter, probably I should have done it before that. But for right now, let's draw a card. And we'll put that into play tapped. And we'll do this. And we will say no attacks. Enter. He really needs to try and get Teferi off the field here, because I'm about to take two extra turns. There's a way I could have done this by playing Teferi. Let's do this. Let's plus him up. I'll protect you. So two turns extra after this. I've got all the time in the multiverse. Let's do this. Well, that's minus three. Because that'll get rid of everything except for his artifacts. Is the chance 
to fail. It'll get rid of our Teferi, but we can shatter the sky in the next turn that we have. I don't think he was paying attention. We will I didn't kill again. that. One two is still winnable. I've definitely come back from zero two, my friend. We'll go ahead and eh, let's hold on to that for Teferi. And we'll go to next. <sighs> yeah. And now we got Nissa. Okay, let's do that. <clears throat> Super friends have assembled. It's going to be hard to come back from, buddy. One, two, you can do it. I believe in you, Sergeant. Hmm. We got an Ugin avatar. What's the chances that he is the ramp mirror? What do we got? Okay, so we are on the play with a growth spiral and a Teferi and two shark typhoons. I don't think it can get too much better than that, right? Okay. Go ahead and pop this bad boy. Lest we forget. New forest, so that we can shock in our handy dandy hallowed fountain. And in our turn. And we'll grow spiral. Put down the enlightenment. Um, Temple of Plenty, Temple of Plenty. I think it's time to start finding stuff, right? Uh, actually, no, it's not. We want that. Okay, so we can... Actually, since we're going to be playing that into playtap, we might as well play the Temple of Plenty here. Okay. I can no longer stand by and watch. Don't worry. He's got I red got mana, so he could pump stuff up. But hopefully, we're playing a Nissa next turn. Does he have the negate? He does not have the negate, boys. No negates. Uh, let's put it on the Temple of Enlightenment. Even though it means that we can't play our... Well, we couldn't anyway. We'll attack. No, I am not making this up as I go. It's pretty strong. It's a pretty strong boy. Let's do the Temple of Plenty. The land fights for us. And let's plus one. I've got time. And we'll all attack. Odd choice. Maybe he found his Storm's Wrath. If he does, we will... He doesn't... Okay. Let's just make sure we do this at his end step. Do this. So that's a five five. Ah, oh, it's a six six. What? 
So we've got seven mana. It's a five five. Oh, I need blue? That's where I'm messing up. <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? I'm not doing math right. Our head's not on straight tonight, boys. It's alright, we got this. Alright, so let's all attack. Okay. We will play this. Um, uh, sure. Hmm. Let's do... Let's do this math right this time. So we don't have blue, so we need blue. We need green. So that's a 5-5 five, five again. Unless... We untap. Yeah, we'll untap. That's fine. Rise, my elemental friend. Do that. And we'll do this. And it should be seven this time. Yeah. I'll protect you. Cool, 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 cool. One Storm's Wrath will wreck our mana base a little bit. Yeah. Don't make another move. Oh, rude. It doesn't really stop us from winning the game too bad. Still pretty good here. Uh, we could do this on a plants. That would have been lethal if we'd done that first, but we're done. No, I am not making this up as I go. see. Let's do Uro. Draw a card, get some life. And he screws. Alright. Sorry, bud. That feels bad. I would draft more if I didn't get a little triggered with games like that and how it goes sometimes. I do love the draft, though. I, I do love the draft. Alright. Well, look at that hand, boys. Hmm. I think that's a keep on the play, my, bro my, my brothers and sisters. Definitely a keeper. Uh, normally I'd want to do Fabled Passage, but since we're ramping, I want to keep as many lands in the deck as possible. So we're going to lead off with Temple of Mystery and hope that we uh, get a few more lands on the top here. Uh, we don't need another Uro right now, so we put him at the bottom. We need lands. Mm, there's one. He knows we're up to something. He probably suspects it's a growth spiral. That's what I would suspect. In fact, that's often what I do suspect. You want to negate this? You can if you want to. Thrill of possibility. Draw two cards. Interesting. Uh, we'll put the breeding pool in since now our fearful passage is activated. Ooh, baby. Alright, so do we Teferi here, or do we Uro? He's got hijinks, and he's got red cards, so I think Uroing is the right answer. So let's do that first, let's see if we can grab another land. Well, let's put the white mana into play first. In my turn. We'll leave the Fable Passage up, because the ability trigger happens at every time that it passes priority. And maybe he'll think we'll have some sort of crazy mystical dispute type doodad. Uh, go for it. We're already at five mana to his two, by the way. We're not quite ready for a Uro looking at the graveyard, but who doggy? We're ready for our super friends to show up, I'll tell you what. He puts something on the bottom, that's what we love to see. Let's grab another, another planes, I think? Yeah. Okay, so we'll do Jorael, and we'll just start making kittens. If you show remorse, I'll we're gonna do this, it. and we're gonna submit zero. Trust me, I have a plan. Cool, and we'll play the mystery temple. Ugin's good. 
Ugin's two turns away if we draw land. What you got? Prowess? What you got? I'm really curious. He's gonna try and take out Joriel? Okay. Interesting, but not to Fairy. At least not yet. There it is. Now Thank you, what? buddy. Pretty sure that's that's almost that's pretty close. Um so what can we do here? We can make a 5-5 five, five Crassus here. Hmm. And draw a bunch of cards. Let's go ahead and blank them for two. Yeah, man, free packs, free play, free cards. Who what's not to love, my friend? So let's do this. We'll do this. And we'll do this. Pay five. Auto pay. Tap out. You go to town, my buddy. Oh, and look at that. Another Teferi. But more importantly, another land. That's what we really needed. It's going to be really tough for this dude. Ooh. Man, he had five cards in hand. What on earth was he trying to play? Think he's life gain? I always wonder... Ooh. Ooh. Do we chalk this one up as a loss already, boys? He keeps seven. We're gonna mull him. Hmm. I don't know, boys. Keeping seven sounds like aggro. This bad boy makes me think life gain, but you know, he could always just be throwing us off. We're going to keep six. And honestly, I think we're wanting to get rid of... Oh, I'd hate to get rid of my second planes. But maybe the island for now. Yeah, that's fine. Because we want to find more lands and more threats. We want to screw... Oh, it's a mono red. It's the opposite of what I wanted. Mono red on the play. And we are slow as hell, boys. But we're about to bring out Joriel and Teferi. That's not mono red. Interesting. <clears throat> All right, let's toss Joriel in the way of this fervent champion, only to get shocked in its prime, my friends. Shocked in his prime. Oh. Oh. Okay, so he's going to get a little extra extra. We're going to block the Fervent Champion. And we're at 10, boys. We are at 10. Going to go down. Just to play to Fairy. I know and make a cat. Here we go. No attacks. Never know what kind of hasty nonsense he's got going on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Really need to start stabilizing here. The good news is, we play that. We're gonna do Uro, gain some life. Draw a card, put that into play. Get another cat. Let's go ahead and get another blue. No, let's get a forest for Nissa in the future, you know? No attacks. We're still kind of in this. Really need. That is very interesting. That's a lot. But we're going to do this. Oh, he's got f double strike? Hell. That's going to be so tough. Well, let's do this. Let's chump. We'll play Master of Time. Ooh. Not quite ready for Uro yet. Let's try this. Yeah, we want to put it into play. Let's yeah, we want to keep him. I guess I could have Elspeth Conquer's death him too. Let's make him play it again. Bad idea. 
Let's see if we can't stabilize. No attacks. Because next turn we can Elspeth Conquers Death him. Hmm. I'm gonna do it again, huh? Yep. Mm hmm. Oops, that was my bad. Oh, I should have blocked there. What, did I, what am I doing? Oh, gross. You know what would be really nice right now? Not that. Let's see what we got. I'm not going to do it. Hmm. Nothing else. I will protect the multiverse. <laughs> oh, I've done the. I should have totally before. blocked this guy. This is ridiculous. Okay, and we're gonna take out one of these guys before they can even come through. my lesson. Okay. I think we're screwed here, boys. And this is not going to do it either. Hmm. We don't have... Oh, we do have enough. So we put Uro into play. Get rid of fucking everything. Actually, if I play Nissa... Can I then, if I tap green, green, white, white, I get through all my blue sources. So there's not a lot of choices here. Let's see what we can do. There it is. I really should have seen I was that out coming. Of sync. Uh, yeah. Do, do, do. Don't worry. I'm afraid that that's going to be game. Hmm. Oh well. Four and three, not too bad. GG. Very aggressive. Five wins. Not oh, five and three. Excuse me. Claim our prizes. Ah, we got some gems and some other stuff. Hey guys, it's me, Naked, and I just wanted to say thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, please consider hitting that like button, and if you want to see more cardboard on cardboard crime, please feel free to subscribe as more videos are on the way. You can also catch me live every Monday through Thursday starting at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on twitch.tv slash Naked Just follow the link below. Thanks again for watching, and Farewell for now.